So last time I played, I put together my team. We're coming up on what's most likely a boss fight. And I have no way of knowing if it's going to work, but we're going to try. All right. Oh, man. Hmm. I'm in. I'm ready. Are you? It's the team. Yeah, all right. So does everybody remember? So Jordan's goal was to hit you really hard. And then Hikazuya was defense, and then Al is the support. Slash magic. She's good at... Uh, just a bit of everything. We're not even gonna get a chance to like test this team properly. That's the crazy part before we run to a boss fight. And then in the back of the mountain. Alright. The Moria! Are you? Sir Echo, why are you finally a visitor? It's been weeks since Moria Shrine saw a single human, all because we had to close the Moria ropeway because of this incident. Not to mention these strange earthquakes have been getting. Can I help? I was waiting for you to say that. You got here all by yourself, so you must be pretty strong. I want you to go investigate the source of these earthquakes. We know it's coming from the Rainbow Dragon Caves, and I will come with you. Don't mind Lady Kanako. She's been pretty nervous since the incident started. Come on, I'll wait for you near the entrance to the Rainbow Dragon Cave. It's just east of the Great Yokai Forest. You know, the area of the mountains with all the snow. Okay. Are you lost? No, I just wanted to meet the frog. There's a sign here. The Mario Rope is currently out of order on going maintenance. Okay. Hmm. Anomaly. So it's the side of the forest. I'm hitting the B button. Do I want to go to the forest? I'm in the upper cave system right now. Great Yokai Forest. Okay. Yeah, it's right by the entrance. Perfect, perfect. Wait. Oh no, no, we're in the right spot. We're in the right spot. Yeah, this is the Rainbow Dragon Cave. Here we go. Puff, oh, I've already been here before. This cave has a lot of toxic gas and a lot of oxygen. Here's the plan. I'll cast my wind miracles to ventilate this area. You go deeper inside and find out who's causing all the ruckus. It's still full of toxic gas. It so don't take too long. Don't expect any help points here. You're on your own. Okay. Hold on. Tengu shield. Vitality plus five. Attack plus one. That's pretty good to me. Look at that. Stupid hat. Hmm. Okay. There's something I wanted to check. Right, how many do I have? I have 16 right now. I can hold four, four sleepers. Here's the anomaly. Okay. Well, I'm going to wake up and save just in case. You never know what can happen. Hmm. All right, there's no help in here. Uh, yes. It's an earthquake. We got gas. Everybody took two damage. Oh. Okay. I see, I see. And I don't have Momo Yo, but I have the other two. All right, grab Momo Yo. Ah, it's Dragon Eater. Okay, it's actually very easy. Yeah, there's not enough bolts. So there's a problem. There we go. Okay. I don't think I have Megumu and Sukasa still in here. I made them. Oh, I know I have, I have Sukasa. She was weak to fire and force. Okay. Megumu I don't remember, but she's probably got the classic weaknesses. Hmm. If 
fire, electricity, gun. As expected. That's fine. Okay. No big deal. Take a little skill. I click that button. That's a good button. This will be a good time to have that explorer perk on, huh? Oh, just gas everywhere, dude. And dead ends and gas. Okay, I don't. I don't have you. Hmm. It's like the it's, it's, it's the orbs that she does with poopy hitboxes, but they're not poopy here. Perfectly solvable. So, chat. Uh. Oops. Forgot what I was gonna say. Well, I'm just gonna hit her. Whoops! Brain fart! I she can pass fireball, doesn't matter that much. I guess we have, uh. We have an idea. For stream anniversary. Yeah, I don't... <sighs> when was it? This is something I can solve later, of course. But yeah, I like the... Uh, so, if we have a... Uh, we're gonna tier list everything I've played. That one might not happen. That depends entirely on the success of the person putting it together. Because that, that was a big thing. That was a big thing they said they just took on there. Tell you that much. I can hit any weakness I want, but I can also hit everyone with this. Perfect. 120 plus games in. That's. Bro, that's insane. So we have that. Uh, we also have a, sor a normal sorter that I like to do with a deserted island, because that one sounds fun. But obviously, I don't want to do them back to back. There's still like a, I want to, I still want to play like a game, right? You have no idea I played some of these games. Are you grabbing all the random one-offs? Do you even know the names of them? <laughs> do you even know the names of them, or are you just, you just fucking, you just taking a shot in the dark? I really do have a great team. I never heard of Smash Mons. Oh yeah, I played that. It was a fire red hack that changed all the Pokemon to be like uh, spirits. That was pretty fun. I thought it was neat, but I uh, didn't want to do the post game at all, so I didn't. Green Dragon Gem. Big Wall Doom. Big wild do. Uh, no, 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 no. Ice is still good. You block electricity, but it's fine because it hits everybody else. Yeah, see? Good turn. Jim Lee to Maui. It's Mario Maui! Sonic Adventure? Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I played that game, but I did not enjoy that game, I don't think. I mean, I enjoyed it enough. I got all the emblems, so I had to... You know what? You know why that game was great, check? Because that game was the creation. That game was the creation of, um, of Rumia Pogo Stick. Spelling mistake. Minor spelling mistake. Everyone just died of that. Kind of insane. There you go. I 
like the color that's used for the tiles. Nice. Dude, I'm just going in every fucking room. I'm just attacking. I can't draw Rumi with a pogo stick. Oh, she has physical reflect. Not yet, anyway. I will at some point. Surely. Uh, the way I decided to do this fight was very poorly uh, planned. But it's okay, because I, I went with this. Yeah, see? All according to plan? Question mark. God, this cave is silly. Free life chunk. Alright, pretty good. But no, I wanna I wanna play something on that day as well and not just uh not just like tier list of sorters. I'm gonna start with the, the game sorter, I think. Oh you heal with that, nice. I don't have a particular idea of something to play. I could also start early as well, so there's that. Starting early is a, an idea I can do. Just need to. I don't know when, how early to start. Hmm. Desert Bus is not a good game. That's the wrong button. One red dragon gem. Okay. I can't help but think I'm collecting these for a reason. Okay, don't think about reflecting these. Thank you. Nice. Focus punch. And your stat ailments are bad. Easy. I have no idea what the game jam is situation would be, but if you made it, if he did every single game jam game, there's a good chance I wouldn't even remember every single one of them anyway. So that's probably going to be excluded for everybody's sanity. A lot of games had playlists. I can already tell you what's going in absolutely bottom tier. I mean, I'm not gonna tell you. You just have to watch the video to find out. Yeah, if a game got a whole video to them, sure. But yeah, compilation streams for games, I don't know if that would work too well. Just because there's so many that I didn't play for very long, right? It's an earthquake. Yeah, another one of ya. Come get some. Are you causing earthquakes? Oh, you can talk, so you're not one of those things. Sleepers, huh? Sorry, sorry, I guess I got carried away. Over here, name's Momo, yo. Keep fighting these things, but they never fight back. It's getting annoying. They fight me all the time. Lucky you, they keep distracting me from digging. And they don't even make for the fun opponents. Be my sparring partner for a bit, will ya? I promise to stop causing earthquakes after this. All right. Momo, yo. So she possesses physical, she's immune to lightning, she's weak to ice, and she's weak to mine. What do you got? You got focus punch, earth shatter, attack up, or attack reflect, and last resort. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna emulate. I'm gonna cover. I don't know who goes first, actually. But Simirako can go next turn anyway, so. Put your attack down. That's physical reflect. So nobody attack. 
All right, Jun, I'm gonna get you to charge. And... Put in the full heal. Do this again. And do this again. I don't know if some... Okay, Hikati went there. Jun's charging. That's fine. All right, Jun, I want you to punch her really fucking hard. She's not a- hold on, she wasn't, uh, resistant to Pierce, right? Yeah, she's neutral on Pierce. Get her with a headshot. Cast another full heal. Yomiusa, Yomiusa. 141. Fast physical reflect. Uh-oh, goodbye, Jun. Ouch. Fine. Have it your way. Her attack is going up. I didn't think she'd do it. She did it again! Okay, she put her attack up to full, but it doesn't matter! Because now I'm going to headshot her for real this time. Clappa. Your attack needs to go down a little bit. Oh my god, you're so cringe. Karma, please. Lose a party member to a reflected attack. Stop fucking doing that. God, that's so annoying. Literally just because I pre decided to press physical rope like every turn that happened. Every turn. Alright, uh... How much I can really do here with you? I could have an in hell. Uh, I probably shouldn't yet. Let's use your last little bit to heal. Pretty sure I can win from this range anyway. Oh, no physical reflect, huh? Cool. Keep yourself alive, champ. There you go. Cringe way to die. Hmm. Phew, that felt great. Hey, you can control these things, can't you? They actually fought back this time. Satisfied. Sorry about these earthquakes. Not gonna happen again. Came back to Snai. Yadana, I thought the whole cave was gonna collapse. This cave is now well ventilated, so I can visit this place even without my help. So I don't re recommend staying here for too long unless you want brain damage. That's okay, I already have it. Well, I'll meet you back at the Moria Shrine. Hey, that's great. Uh, I gotta bring my friend back. Turn to me! Every time I got set up for an actual good attack, it just didn't work. Because she would cast Physical Reflect. Trying to play that game was foolish, but it's still annoying. In the party you go, Joan. Help! Help! I'm going back to the cave. I need to get brain damage. I did get an achievement for it, so there's that. The immolation strategy works. Sort of. Maybe. Maybe a little bit. What was I talking about? Uh, yeah, no. I don't know, chat. Like, maybe, maybe I do play Hina? Maybe I do play Hina, get myself a little sloshed, and then when we do the next, you know, we do the, the sorter, there's a little more, uh, a little more brain power, so to speak. Uh, well, she lied about it being more ventilated, huh? She lied! Look at this shit going on. 
Like, busy person would be fun, but there's too much too busy person to really do one single stream of. Soccer as well. Soccer wouldn't really work. Too much to it. Can't get it like a substantial amount in one stream, so it wouldn't really be worth the time. The chest was trapped. What? What? Why? Why was it trapped? Why would you do that? Why did you do that to me? I don't understand. Jittery. Can't move. That one Moyo doesn't cast because it doesn't reflect very often. Alright. Doesn't matter. Nina's just fun. And you know, you can play it for a couple hours, get some drink of Jinya, and then we can figure out who you'd want to be with on the deserted island. Nobody's gonna be a coconut. Hell, I could even start drinking when we actually put the games in. Because there's a lot of... There's a lot of games that I've played on stream chat. And some of you... Some of you have been here for some of them. And others haven't. So you might not know my opinions on some games. You may think that they're bad. There's one game, though, that I streamed that is not on the VOD channel. Two, actually. There's two. There's uh, Dracula X. I did stream that. I did not upload the VOD though, because I did not have the right file. I did not have my recording option set up right, so that did not happen. And a Mega Man 2 uh, ROM hack that I played, that was really promising, and then it was the worst game I ever played, so I did not bother uploading it. But I played Castlevania, I played Dracula X, so. And that game was, uh, not great. Really not. I played it for, uh, because Christian played it, he didn't finish it, so I played it to spite him. And get the good ending. And getting the good ending of that game is not fun. The entire game is not fun. I never actually played Rondo of Blood. I've never played it. I've seen people play it, but I played the only Richter game I played, not counting Symphony of the Night, is uh, Dracula X. Admittedly, attacking Momoyo is a terrible idea because she has physical reflect on her, but she's also the one I want to kill the fastest, so. Ow. She outpaced me. We have entered a problem. That's fine. I don't know why you're so fast. Sometimes you aren't. Please die. So I can go back to shooting my gun. God damn it. Alright. That's why Momoyo needs to die first, because she's the only real problem with the team comp. Hmm. Dragula X is a little more than just harder Rondo of Blood. It's bad. It's a bad game. It's like it gets the you tried award, but it, it even that award they didn't really try too hard with. Quite a number of things in here, like half of them are weak to pierce, half of them are resistant to it. But just having AoE pierce is so good that it doesn't matter. Because it's not like any enemy is going to randomly heal off pierce damage, right? I ain't going to do anything like that. 
There's more cave system over here. Oh. Rondo is an interesting game just because the ability to play it was not convenient. But it's like, it was quite important for the whole story of, uh, of Symphony of the Night. Since Symphony of the Night starts with the ending of Rondo. Free life chunk. I can't remember what exactly it was about that game. Maybe it was just the system it was released for. It was like really strange. But Rondo was not a game that like was originally launched on any of the classic systems that you would probably know off the top of your head. You being me, because there are tons of gaming systems that I don't know anything about. I know what the Nintendo is, I know what the PlayStation is, and I kind of know what the Atari and the it is because, you know, I've watched like videos where those gaming machines were prominent. I've never seen a Sega system in my life. Like, in person, I should say. Never seen one in person. Mining helmet. Oh. I'm, you know what? That doesn't even matter, because I have the Eucrity hat. Who even cares? Alright, I'm killing Sakasa first, because... Uh, I don't want to get physical reflected again. Yeah, yeah. I can put guys with gunshots. There's the physical reflection. And the Medi. For your troubles. For your troubles. Didn't feel like it this time? Okay. Whatever you say, Chan. I didn't realize that Sonic Adventure 2 was originally released on Sega's system. Because I saw Sonic Adventure 2 on the GameCube. It was like my first GameCube game. We didn't have a memory card for a, a while. So every time you boot up the game, you get a, a message about the memory card. And then Sonic would be like, Did you insert a memory card? Every time couldn't save the game for quite a number of time, uh, amount of time. But yeah, because when I found out the Chow Garden, like the Chow Garden Gardens were much more expansive on the Dreamcast, I was like, I felt kind of ripped off. Because the GameCube was supposed to be the more powerful system, but it feels like it got fucking cut. It was so lame. Like Dark Garden had this like cave you could go inside of. It was awesome. There's so much shit going on there. I'll be honest, I don't know anything about Shenmue at all. As far as I know, Shenmue is a game that people say is great, and when I've seen, like, one iota of gameplay, quote-unquote, I was very confused why anyone would think that was a good game. I genuinely couldn't figure out what it was about that game. And then Shenmue 3 happened, and, well, people really wanted Shenmue 3, and then Shenmue 3 happened, and they really didn't want Shenmue 3 anymore, did they? Hmm. I'm gonna shatter the earth, throw an ice ball. The only thing I really know about Shenmue is that Lisa samples uh, a character in it for their work harder song. Ooh, I love that song. It's so good. It's actually just an NPC in Shenmue who makes that noise when he goes to push something, which is just like, that was. I couldn't believe that. I really couldn't believe that. Player concerts hardly even existed out here. I don't know how like they, how they really did, because when I was born, like the Super Nintendo was already a thing. There's nothing even in this room. 
I'll go talk to Momo, yo, because I can. I found out actually, chat, when I went Christmas shopping, I found out that my mom had an Atari. I didn't know this. I actually never told this story either. But, uh, they, were, they, like, they had this little, like, basically Atari thing at the GameStop. It was, like, just a bunch of Atari games built into it. And she's like, yeah, I had an Atari with, like, three games. And I was like, what? I gave it a lot of Dragon Gems. That's why I'm digging it up. Or are Dragon Gems tasty is what they are. I was like, what do you mean? She told me that her favorite game that she had when she was a child was... I think it was called uh, Maze Craze? Yeah, I think it was Maze Craze. And we looked and we found it in the combo and we booted it up and I beat her ass. Wasn't even close. <laughs> Schooled her. But that was like her favorite game growing up. I was like, this is the kind of games that my mom had when she was a kid. It was literally just you navigate a maze as this little dude, and it's got multiplayer on it. I went the wrong way. And now I'm just running into a bunch of little fuckers. I'm gonna shoot my gun! Come on, Alice. Turn level 40 already. I'm trying to get out of here without using my items, because I'm, I'm greedy. Yeah. Yeah. No. Thank you for confirming. See, it's I find it funny, because when I look at video games from, like, back then, I think, like, wow, these, these, this was peak entertainment for a lot of people back in the day. But then some people who are younger now would probably look at games that I played as a kid and be like, wow, this is what qualified as entertainment back in the day. And there's like, there's an aspect of that that is as interesting as it is kind of like, oh, like the games I played. So when I was a kid, like Super Nintendo and 64 was like right, right outside, like a lot coming, coming up hot. I gotta head back up to the Moria Shrine now. Hmm. I never got into things like RuneScape. RuneScape is like peak nerd emoji game. People love that game. People still talk about that game to this day. And I'm just thinking to myself, that is certainly a game I will never play, huh? I must save. Z. I sleep. Okay. Don't worry. We're, we're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit a new point in history, chat. Once we unlock quadruple A gaming, it's gonna happen. Right. We're actually leaving this way. We're gonna go visit. Show sure the ropeway is fine now. Conoco, we're back. Hmm, take a good look at this, Sanai. A news issue for Boom Boom Maru. The new sleeper incident perpetrator shows themselves. Hey, Simaraka, what is this? It's you. You take a look at the newspaper. It's a photo of Aya injured. The description reads, Simaraka suddenly attacked me in the middle of the interview. The rest of the issue focuses on the interview with Aya. Except the final answer is replaced with, yes, I am behind this incident. So I have you to blame for the lack of shrine visitors. It's fake news. I don't see anyone else who can control sleepers around here. Can you, Sanai? No, I cannot. Sorry, Simiracho. I command you put an end to this incident right now. God damn it. I don't know if I have Kaneko. I don't have Kaneko or Sanai, so I don't I don't know what they're weak to. Not a sleeper. Uh, I can only analyze command one per turn. Shit. 
Well, I mean, Nye's the healer. You're weak to electric and mine. Yeah, you have... Oh, God. Uh, you're an annoying piece of shit. Electric and mine, huh? This is dangerous, but we'll do it. Cover for her. I have, uh, Amp, so... This is where the problem comes in. I don't have attack down for everyone. Defenders of the Faith. I don't remember what that does. Oh. Diatma would be good here, but not yet. Earth Shatter. Helping Hand. Double Electric. Heals you. Huge damage. Okay. Diatma. Ah, her immolation got purified. That's fine. For now, that's fine. Another reason for that. Okay. Fenders of the Faith. Couldn't copy your skill. Okay. Helping hand, just keep attacking you. Good, good, good. I missed. That's fine. That's still fine. That's not as fine anymore. actually kind of a problem. Close. Just need full bar to make it work. There we go. Just gotta keep the full bar. Oh, I got a para. That's perfect. Now I can do it. Flip all of this. are on my, but we're playing on my terms now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need to up the defense. We're good on that. Just keep pumping into her, I suppose. You can't defend her every turn. Finally. And I just got enough, too, to be able to check what your, your deal is. You have 919 HP left. Jesus. Debilitating Aura, what's that do? Uh, or 
all damage dealt to user's party. When user is hit with any element, lower attacker's defense by one. Oh, that's stupid. They wake to ice, and that's it. Okay. Well, we're just gonna start flinging ice balls at you, I guess. That's the one type of skill that Alice doesn't have. Well, Alice can heal them. Remove the buff because now we're just gonna start picking away at her. Uh, I guess it doesn't hurt to do this, it's just based on the paralysis chance. And I'll shoot her. much I can do about this. Uh, I can just do this, actually. I have uh, that on myself. Alright, I got the loop up. I think we'll be okay to finish with this. Ice. Ice. Put the heal up. And shoot the gun. We went about 200 per turn, so... Yes, yeah, so now I can just remove all that from myself. Can't do that anymore, but I can make Komachi stronger. And Daipada. Ugh, that's annoying. And physical reflect. And she died to that anyway. Alright! There you go. Just business. Took a selfie at the top of Yokai Mountain. Lady Kanako, wait, I don't think it makes sense for Simiraka to be the culprit. Why would she help us in the earth with the earthquakes? Hmm, true. But if you're not behind this incident, who is? All this is happening during summer, too, the most active time for human visitors. We need to reopen the Moria Ropeway with the safety risks. Forget the safety risk. We're missing out on potential profits here. From now on, Moria Ropeway is operational again. What? Dreamers Mile has a new floor available to you. Moria Ropeway is operational again, but the visitors aren't coming. No one wants to leave the human village with the risks involved, I suppose. Whoever's behind this incident will regret this. Alright, bye. Take me all the way back down to the bottom. Alright, that boss fight was a little rough. Once again, Shun got cheesed. Hey, uh, Komachi was a good uh, stand in, though. bosses with their debuffs, but you know what? At least the debuff uses a turn. Or, like, buff resetting uses a turn. So I can't be too mad about that. Alright. That's, that's me all done. I'm back! Alright. I, 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 bleh. There's been a few, like, I can go to the monolith. There's a few floors that have opened in the monolith at this point, but uh, I haven't really needed to go back there because it's not like it's, it's just going to cut me off. Nah, I wonder. Do we have anything new in here? Better fusion. Increase the level cap for fusions by five. More SP. Everyone at active party will gain some MP at the end of battle. That's... Yes. <laughs> uh... Increase the level cap for fusion by five. What does that mean? Does it just mean I can see, like, later... What, like, I don't understand the purpose of that. The level cap. I don't really get what that means. Use up to five above your level. Oh. Uh, 
That's cool. I don't need that, though. Target enemies present the database targets offending the currently selected skill element will be shown. God, I would love this. This would be nice. Access the terminal. Fusion. Hmm. Satan. I can make a conquer this here. Damn. Mizuchi. Level 60. Mia de Gucci. Agni Soul. Damn. Yeah, vengeful spirit with a grudge against Yokai and the Hakuri bloodline. Current whereabouts unknown. I know where she is. I know where she is. I don't remember what level I'm, I am, but I can make Satan, so let's make Satan. Revenge. I don't remember if I've seen this one before. Hmm. If any of you's allies fall in battle, restore 25 HP and MP. Oh, cool. Moving around Yokai who fled against Sohyo, I'll break the Dango stand, which is a rival Renko, uh, Ringo. Alright. Misamaro and. Okay, last resort. Reflect physical for this turn. Um. I don't really care too much what you have, but... Oh, MP Spring could be cool. Get that on a better unit, but... I don't know. I'll just make it for the sake of making it for now. Uh, no other reason than because I can... Good. Nemono and medicine makes Shimada. Can I make that? I'm too weak. That wouldn't be the case if I had bought that, you know. Satan, medicine is Reimu. Yeah, why not? I, I, I've looked at you before. You had a, yeah. Not praying stance, it's even flow. He's evading by two for all allies. Raymu, Shrine Maiden oversees the Great Hakuna border against Selk. It's her job to protect against Selk from threats. She also looks at the Sumer Echo to make sure she doesn't cause trouble. She heals from piercing? That's fucking weird. But that's something to keep in mind. Yeah, I'll use medicine and say it. I'm sure, why not? Um. MP Spring. Revenge is cool. And ice. Sure. Okay. Stabbing Raymo just makes her stronger. Hmm. Passive MP healing is really good because I don't always use MP for certain battles and it reduces the cost I have to spend at help to heal it all back. So it saves money in that way as well. Vengeful spirit. I never looked at this motherfucker. Tell you undead spirit, I manifest from a dead person to snatch away from the Sansa River before they cross. They hold very emotional grudges, but sometimes forget about them when enough time passes and become regular spirits. Why are you angry? I forgot. Is that so? Bonky can be made. To the fusion database. Anyone new in here that we can make? Bonky. Wow, that's really not good, champ. Dulohan, like Yokai, could attach a multiplier hedge. It's been seen around the human village. Who can I use to make you? Zombie fairy and monkey? Cost 245? Sure. Justice for all. She can immolate too. I mean, none of this matters. Just give her that, because it's funny. Either dies on this turn, restore 50%. I don't know, I'm just giving her a move, who cares? Cost me $245. That's such a, that's such a steal. All I had to do was turn Minky into her.
Emulation seems funny if I can get away with it. Database, database. Get them in the database. So who else? 40. Clown Piece and Shion, I believe, are the last two here. Yeah, so you got fire in mind. How fair you serve the cut to your torch makes anyone who looks at it go insane. She once saw an American flag on the moon and made it a dress that closely resembles it. Kana and Momiji? That costs a lot of money. That's cost too much money. Too much money. Oh, too much money. Oh my god. Kana and Miji. So, Alright, I'm gonna go recruit a Kana and a Miji. And Shion, who I'm sure I can fuse with, like... I'm trying to save cash here, okay? New A and Fairy Maid? Oh. Nazarin and Miko, Nazarin and Biakridin. Koishi and Fairy Maid? Hobgoblin. Hey, that's pretty cheap. Horn and Star. Satori and Kagero. Yugi and Satori. Yugi and Satori is incredibly easy to get. Oh, Parsi and Orin? $700? Sure. Sure, why not? Eh, that's pretty, that's pretty affordable. Here, take, uh... Take this. Like, I give a fuck. Just take it. Alright. What, chat, what did I need again? It was Momiji and Kana. Alright, hold on. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. I realize now I would I could have teleported. It'd be easier. Miji's in the first cave, right? She's, like, right in here. I don't have either of those in my party right now, do I? Uh, no, I don't. Okay. Miji and Kana. And now I'm not gonna run into the Miji formation. Uh-huh. It's Hina, boys! Her day is coming up! That's not very much, but money is money. God, the way I have to walk to just do basic encounters is certainly frustrating. I don't remember Michael. Whatever. Hina Matsuri is three days, but she's tied to... The, the day that's dedicated to floating dolls down the river. Nagashi Hina. But she's a Hina doll! It's part of Children's Day or something. I don't remember. It's not Japanese. There you are. It's gonna take a Miji to be on my way. I got hit. Uh oh. Played it too poorly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Kana's just hanging out in the Prison River's house. Wind up strike. Okay. Now to get the hell out of here. Well, I'll visit here real quick. $238. Prison Rivers House. It's over here. I'll be faster to warp. But it's alright. Because I'll just run over here. Also, Kataka is, I think, my next objective anyway. So, I need to head this way specifically for that. Alright. 
I took a trumpet here and it made me feel really bad. Just walk around the foyer. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting to run into you two, but okay. I can take a crack at uh, Kutaka. I don't have any information on Kutaka, but that can change. Almost level 43. The trumpet is uh, its a gun buff, but I'm not using... I'm using the gun to shoot and do damage, because Sumireko is... She has the arm strength of a child. Who would have thought? Ow. Alright. Okay. Not actually that big a deal. Dude, the EXP bar just it feels like it should be hitting max. And it just doesn't. Kana's part of at least one of these troops here. Chat, what was I talking about before I, I got into the boss fight? Does anyone remember? I, I forget what I was talking about. This happens a lot. Mostly because, you know, the, the subject changes to pay attention to whatever is in front of me. And I'd rather pay attention to the game in that case than whatever the fuck I'm thinking at the moment. But then I don't remember what I was talking about. Atari. Right, yeah, I was talking about, I was talking about, uh, yeah. Because my mom used to play video games, and I never knew she had an Atari when she was a kid. It's, it's kind of neat. Because I knew she played games. Because when I was a kid, she had beaten, uh, she had beaten Donkey Kong Country 3. Dixie, you know, uh, that game. I remember as a kid just walking around the empty map or like the map that was of a completed game she didn't 100 percent it but she beat the you know i remember just walking around and then i found the the barrel boss the one that you throw beetles into his mouth and he burps and i didn't like that boss he kind of scared me bowser's laugh in mario 64 used to scare me real good i rented that game. we never owned it I remember we rented it, and there was a file. There you are. There was a file that was already there. So I, I clicked it to play it, because I was like, okay, let's see where they at. And I, I ran upstairs to open the locked door at the top of the staircase, and then Bowser laughed at me, and then I, I ran and hid under the coffee table. Because I was, I was afraid. His laugh was scary. Whenever, whenever you die, you hear that laugh, and I was just like, no. I don't want this. I've acquired what I need to do. Alright. So... Hell? had the next lowest levels, so this should be the right way to go. Because Cloud Peace and Akati are level 40-ish. So we are gonna have to beat up Kutaka to get it to move out of the fucking way. This place for dead spirits, wait, judgment. Is the animal realm that way? It is, but you'll have to go through hell. Hell is that cave behind me. Hell is located in some boring cave. Well, the Ministry of Right and Wrong is on a tight budget right now. Why do you care? Hell is hell. It's not supposed to be pretty. If you wish to go to the animal realm, you'll have to get through me first. It's probably weak to a lot of piercing. Yeah, piercing and mine. Oh, she's got it. Oh, shit. Strong fire, strong mind. Reflect magic. Moderate healing. Increased defense. When you use it hit by any element, lowers attackers defense by one. Who buffs all. Oh, Jesus. Okay, she's cracked. Kutaka and you retire. Deity of chicken works at 8 minutes the end. Hell. Just consider the reputation of chickens worldwide, which has been reduced to a food source of humans. Shit, dude. Uh, she's kind of cracked.
chat. I forgot what she's weak to. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot what she's weak to. Just Pierce and mine. Okay. I gotta lower her attack. She's got 1600 HP. Okay. She's got magic reflect as well. Magic Reflect, doesn't matter, she blocks that. Okay. Just putting her attack to minus three. Omi Soul, that's good. Agni Soul, missed, very good. We're doing damage, we're doing damage. this so it's your normal attack yeah let's do that hit the reset button okay it's fine move your defense buffs and now we just help the hand again he maddie Twenty-three damage. Yeah, it doesn't matter if she magic reflects because Alice blocks the element I'm trying to hit her with anyway. So I can just kind of keep doing this uh, sequence. And she doesn't have physical reflex. Some wreck can shoot her. That's magic reflect. It doesn't matter. Eighty. Two hundred one. Keep doing it. Magic Reflect doesn't matter. It's a waste of a turn. Increase of defense doesn't matter. Just keep doing it. Get rid of the defense downs. It's okay, she put her defense up. Fireball doesn't matter. And she's dead. Well, there you go. No big deal. No big deal at all. Ugh, very good. I see you're not alone. I think you'll do fine in hell, but don't say I didn't warn you. Thanks, G. Into the hell cave we go. Oh shit. Help! Oh shit! Uh, even in death, Tay makes us work. <laughs> At least work distracts us from the fact that we're in hell, so stop whining. Yeah. Unlock 
I'm here specifically for the- I'm gonna save actually because I just beat that boss. Okay. Because the only other place to go- I mean, I could go to the monolith, but... Uh, like, Hell, Animal Realm, and then Moon. Animal Realm puppets, or sleepers, seem to be higher level than the Moon ones. Not like I know how to get to the fucking Moon. Uh... But, like, Clown Piece and Hakati are only level 40. Yeah, see, they're level 40, so, like, same with Hakati. So the next area seems like Hell to go through. Well, hell seems like the next area to go through. I don't really want any of these skills on you at all. Uh, it's slow, it makes you go last. It's like not good skills for you, but I'm not using you anyway. Hmm. The model is just gonna b it's just gonna break me when I get to a certain floor and I'll have to go through it all over again. I doubt there's anything new up there either, sleeper wise. Alright, what else we got? Got the level 40 ones. Okay. Junko, Jun, Shimada, Toyohime. I can actually make these ones now. Yeah, see, like, Eika, Kongura, they're further down. But they're, they're, that, they're pretty high level. And then Mizuchi's just level 60. I don't know why Sho's there. But Yorihime and Toyohime are really close. Shimada I can actually get right now. HP Spring. Hmm. Moderate Force, Steep Bog, Reflect Magical Attacks this turn, and Peace Share. Peace uses HP by 100. Shimada Thank You, a God is the Marketplace. You relinquish someone's ownership of a specific item. Okay, who makes you easily? Hakane and Biten. That's too much money. Michael and Misamaru. Clown and Maribel. No. Ben Ben and Nemono. Hibanki and Baten. Hibanki and Sanyo. Nitori and Banki. Hina and Nitori. Omiji Sukasa. Pat and Michael. Aya and Miji. Pat and Shizuha. Unasa Seiden. Unasa Shida. And Maribel. Who's the easiest to get here? Hmm. I have Clown Piece. I don't have Maribel. Maribel's. I need a fuse for her, or bring her out of the database. I have Bonky. I'll go grab a monkey. Uh, Takane. Hmm. Oh, I have Nemuno. Oh, I can just go grab Ben Ben real quick. Okay. And Toyohime. Moon's Domination. Like, I really care, but sure. Focus is magic charge. Okay. Modern force attack to all enemies, non-alien species all stick MP damage. Tatsuki no Toyohime, Lunarian Princess in charge of Lunarian Defense Corps for fans incredible destructive power. Oh, she's got no weaknesses or resistances. So the easiest way to make you is why is Junko? <laughs> Nemono Unasa, Unasa Hina. Lyrica Nemuno. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna consume you. Okay. Alright. Area to the right of Misty Lake. Did I not go there? Oh, I didn't go in here. Oh, oh. Canal of Willow's Cave. Whoa. Whoa, I found shit. How did I miss this? Oh, I need to get a Ben Ben and Lunasa. Oh, shit. Oh, you two. This is where you are. Okay. I, I, I have you two. That's good to know that I can get these ones like this in here. This is the level 30 cave, so I should have been here much earlier than I am. Well, better late than never. Oh shit! No! 
How is she not a sleeper? Big fairy. Diosen. I can't help her. I can't get Lily either. It's tragic. This K is probably not very large. Oh, there's Bonky. Okay. Oh, it makes sense. It's little, you know, her theme name, Golahan under the, under the willows. Okay. She's got force attacks. But she does die to two gunshot wounds. So, you know. We'll take that. I don't see myself changing my team very much. Unless I can pass Heaven and Hell on to somebody else down the line who's like better at doing what Kekatia does. But I'm not replacing Jun, even if she just exists to die. And I don't want to replace Alice either, because why would I want to do that? And I can't replace Sumerako no matter how hard I want to. Kekatia's just a really good like unit, so no reason to axe her. Huh? Huh. Nameless Hill. Oh! So this is where medicine is. And it's poison, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's okay, my level is pretty much dwarfs of most of this anyway. They seem kind of compact. I wanted a Takane, right? For something? I'm pretty sure I wanted a Takane for a fusion. Let me grab her real quick. Okay. There's a whole subset of area I can do and work with here. Yeah, come with me. Because Takane... Wait, Takane and Itori was one of the fusions I needed, right? I think it was. I think that made Shimada. Let me grab her too. Okay. Just trying to get Shimada and, uh... Toyohime. I don't imagine this place is very large because it's so out of the way, but there's probably something here. It doesn't seem to be anything special because it's just these plus medicine. But I was wondering, like, th there were a couple, there were a couple characters in here who, like, were fusion material, but they didn't really have anywhere specific they were showing up. Black's gunfire. But yeah, I'm strong enough that I can kind of just overwhelm her like that. So this area is completely... By missing it as early as I did, it's now completely negligible. Like, I'm in no danger here at all. Ooh. Oh yeah, this area is very compact. Hey, and Hina's there too. I needed Hina as well. I don't remember why, but I did. I hope I'm not just like, wasting my slots here for this. Whatever, let's grab her. She just floats, man. Not configuration. That was my last slot available to me. So I don't run anything new. I don't think I will because I've gotten everything fused at this point. I'm not gonna miss that little room. Hold on. Lilies cannot be recruited. Okay. Little heal never hurt. It's nice that these little dungeons you can find just by exploring. 
Foolish human. Due to all the sleepers disturbing my peace, I'm very irritated right now. I will poison you until you can't move a muscle. Oh, you cute little thing. You think you stand a chance. I just fused you. The hell are you weak to, you little bastard. 1350. She's got mind and attack. Yeah. Blind, I don't know what that does. Keep the fire. Bad effects disappear soon at the end of the turn. Poison has a chance to disappear by itself. Alright, so speak to fire. You're poisoned, so it's not a good idea to immolate. Just charge. Fireball! 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 Better get ready for a fight. Fireball. Fireball. He met him. That did 254 damage. Okay. Good job. Do it again. The big heavy uh, cost with a fire back, unfortunately. Not even doing that much. Well, I mean, 94 is still respectable. But this is a non match. Yeah, this is a non match. Helping hand, fireball, gun. 425 damage. Why did you come here anyway? Don't know, I'm lost. In that case, you better get out of here. Quick, poison doesn't take prisoners. Somehow I'm feeling better after our battle. Sorry, my name is Medicine. You can have this. The Yokai Grimoire Loner. It's a book I wrote when I was born. I don't know if you can read it, but it's better left in your hands. You want poison to spread your body? If not, you must leave. Okay. See ya. I can already tell what that mode does. It makes Sumireko have to play the game alone, which just sounds like a tragedy of a video game. You can now play as Luigi! One HP, huh? Okay. 43. Itty bitty little stat increase. Nice how compact it is. Uh, turn turn around. God damn it. Yeah, there's nothing really specific here. <laughs> Forcing a 1v1 against Sumireko is kind of funny. It might even make some things easier. Full discovery bonus. It's all for the money. Wait, how do I return? This way. Yeah, I'll get rid of the poison when I get out of the fucking poison. I don't see any new sleepers here. Okay. That's alright. Nice and relaxed. And we're done. Okay. Thank you for the reset, Anchovio. Oh, yo, 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 yo. All right, back in the cave system. Okay. We're going this way this time. Chat. I know it came out. Uh. It came out a couple, like, weeks ago at this point, but was the Persona 3 release, like, reloaded good? I assume at the very least it wasn't that bad, 
And I based that on the fact that most of the issues that I saw with the game were being talked about before the game even came out. Like, people... I forget what it was exactly. It was like... I think it was something about uh, the game's size, like, just not being compressed properly. I don't know if that's the right word for it. But there was a lot of things leading up to the release of that, that remake that had people being bitching that it was something was gonna go wrong. And then it came out, and then, well, uh, I guess it came out, and it was just fine. She dodged the gun. This is the content of the portable route. Well, I don't know what the difference is in the portable stuff, aside from playing as the girl. I never finished her route. All I know is that she, she didn't have mass destruction playing whenever she did a battle, and that was great because I hate that song a lot. I think the game also got new like music for Advantage State, so like how Golden has time to make history. Gembu Ravine. Oh, we got all kind of, hold on, before we go any further, I need to deal with the sleepers I have in my inventory. Like, in Golden, they make it so you get Reach Out to the Truth when you get advantage, otherwise it's time to make history. Which, time to make history is great. I actually really like that song. It's just, uh, you can only get it when you don't have advantage, which, why would you give up advantage? Baby, 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 come on now. Come on now, please. Okay. Alright, we have her. We got her, we got her, we got her, we got her. I can pass the amp on. Why not? Okay, making Shimada. Hmm. And I need a Nemono and Ben Ben. Oh, I can make you a Hime. I think I could anyway. I'm one level short. Okay, one more level. One more level and I can turn Takane and uh, Yomu into... So I'll keep Takane. But I needed Nemono and, Lun and Lunasa, right? To make uh, Toyohime. No, it was it was Ben Ben, wasn't it? I think it was Ben Ben. Nemono and Ben Ben. No, it was Nemono and Lunasa. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go grab Lunasa real quick. I'm gonna grab- I'm gonna go grab a Lunasa, and then I'm gonna make, a uh, Toyohime. And then I'm gonna vomit, and then we'll figure out what I wanna do from there. Eventually, there'll be, like, you know, there'll be- there'll be material that I can fuse. Cause I wanna- I'll have access to them when I get to the moon. Cause, like, encounters and stuff like that. But, getting them early is still fine. Okay. Oops. Perfect. What are you doing with this gang of rapscallions? If I filled my team with Lunarians, I would probably vomit. Because my team would be Lunarians plus Sumireko. And honestly, I can't think of a worse possible combination of characters you could put together. Just, <laughs> just can't. It's simply impossible. Sumer goes halfway up to 44, so getting your Ahime will come. Alright. Going back, I'm going back, I'm going back. It's a pretty powerful team. Get back to work. Ce cease your chatting. You got things you gotta do. And gassing up Lunarians ain't one of them. <laughs> I'm finished. For now. What do you mean for now? You think the list is gonna expand in the next couple days? It 
might. 280 plus games! Okay, we're starting the stream early then. <laughs> we're starting the stream early. That's every game I've played on stream. Have I really played that many games? Holy shit. How did you even get like a picture for everything? God damn. Uh, there you are. Toyohime. Oh, I just don't care at all what you get. Yeah, you can take those and you can fuck off. you level the 43 do you even make anything remotely interesting maybe you do <laughs> all right minarico i need to sacrifice you be consumed slurp yummy all right so Yomu and uh, Takane are gonna create Yorihime. I have two slots available at the moment. Okay. Wake up and save you. I want more. I want more units. I want more units, dude. Okay, back to the river. We got three caves I can walk into. down because it's the first one I did. Alright. Show me a good time, Jack. Hmm. Blood has played four separate mods of Pikmin 2, but not Pikmin 2 itself. Hey, Blood? The reason I've played a mod because I've already played Pikmin 2 on my own so many times that I wanted to play something that was Pikmin 2 but not Pikmin 2. And that's why, that's why. Hijacking moves harder than sleepers a lot stronger than you. Sure, you can try hijacking a sleeper that's 10 levels ahead of you if you can handle it, but I'd suggest you stick to hijacking sleepers that are roughly equal or lower level than you. I mean, that never happens because I'm always in the right area at the right time. Stance skills like concentration, war stance, vampire stance, and praying stance offer a variety of positive effects with some downsides. Use them effectively, you have to take those downsides into account when building your team. For example, to make sure a party member who casts concentration doesn't get hit, try setting up another party member who can use cover on them. Thanks for the tutorial. Oh yeah, I forgot I could turn Toyohime into uh, Sumireko's. I could turn Toyohime into Sumireko's like ailment sheet, so she has no weaknesses, but she also has no resistances. Still, being neutral to everything is a lot nicer than not being. Hi, Michael. What are you doing in here? Fifty-four slash. I need to confirm, chat, that my my stream anniversary is on... It's not this Sunday, right? Is it? Wait. Huh. Pokemon Channel? Oh, Pokemon Channel was great. I play that really early on. Charge and focus skills increase the damage of certain damage types. I'll be wondering why not use the same skill twice then. Well, don't give the enemy a turn to heal. Also think about MP consumption. To avoid showing the entire, uh, be, uh the Pokemon Channel Pichu anime is required watch to, to progress through the game, but we couldn't show it because, you know, we being me. Copyright issues. So instead I had demo basically convert the entire uh, part into a picture book and I wrote a script so, uh, I wrote a script like a storybook out of the, all the different parts check your upgrades menu in our terminal yet there's some good stuff in there I promise so he did the image he did the illustrations for the for it and then I just did the, the writing for it and it was great and this was like this is a really old time 
fun. I enjoy. Hmm. Mina Day is this Sunday. Okay. March 2nd is the anniversary. And March 2nd is Hina Day, right? Because that's this Sunday. Oh, hello. We've been using Kappa Terminal as well. We have been conducting some tests on sleepers. We need more data. From what we learned so far, the app doesn't turn sleepers into digital data. They are digital data. That said, we're not any closer to solving this incident. Can I ask you a favor? You may have noticed already, but our terminals come with a database feature where you can store sleepers. Well, I want you to fill it out for us. In exchange, we'll provide discounts when downloading sleepers from the database. Sound good? Yeah, sounds great. Check that out. See, you fill the database up 10%. We have to start somewhere. Now I have 10% discount on downloading sleepers. Holy shit. 25%. 20% discount. Yes. Halfway there. 40% discount on downloading sleepers. Something else with your help. We've done enough experiments to peek into the code they're made of. It's not much, but we have received a username. Every sleeper is signed with Ron.Y. Now, this doesn't tell me much, but maybe we'll figure out what you do with this info. Hmm, run the brute force algorithm again. But it never worked before. Do you have any better ideas? The sleepers are way beyond our understanding, so get to it! I oh, didn't see you there. Working hard to fill out the database, I hope. Damn, I just got a 40% discount on shit. I don't know what my database is right now, but I'm pretty sure it's close to 60%. Good idea. I have pretty much every possible sleeper I can get at the moment. A couple more areas to explore. Where am I going? Database has two download options. The first one will download the sleeper you save with EXP and skills in place. The second will download the original copy of the sleeper with zero EXP and its original skills. You just say downloading the original is cheaper. It's a good option when you need some fusion or sacrifice fodder. Come on now, don't feel bad. Sleepers are just digital data. I didn't feel bad. What a digital dummy. I just found an exit. What? Oh. Naruhodo. I understand everything now. So they're all connected. I see. They're all connected. On map. Okay. Sleepers don't level at the same rate you do. Over time, they will require more HP per level up. Don't worry, we have come up with a solution. Sacrifice you strengthen the sleeper indefinitely, so you can just use the ones you like, no matter how weak they might have been when you got them. You can't strengthen the sleeper past your own level, so keep that in mind. Chat, uh... Yeah, I think... If, if Sunday is the stream in question, then I should probably start early, huh? How early do you think I need to start? Can't help battery. Think about how many games I have to put on a tiering list. Think of all the distractions I'll have as well, talking about... Um, March 2nd is Saturday. Wait! Oh, never mind. We're good. Saturday. That's fine. Oh, wait. There's no, uh... There's no further way up, so I guess the top cave is different. Okay. Well, I did, um, when I did my three, three year, when I did my three year, I, uh, so much for the battery, huh? That was nine hours. I started at one o'clock my time. So I could just start like that at like one. Cause I'll have nine hours to do everything I want to do. good party needs someone who can buff up your team, someone who can heal constantly, consistently, and someone who can soak up as much damage as possible. You can play the role of any one of those things, or even all of them. I recommend you build your party with these roles in mind. Your party needs to do more than just deal damage, or you won't survive for very long. Don't worry, I'm doing just fine. I can do everything. Just waiting for that last square to give me the full discovery bonus. There's a terminal in here. Uh, well. 
I got discounts, man. I didn't mean to do that. Hmm. Hmm. That's still a lot of money. That's a 40% discount. That's crazy. Hey. Right. Yeah, I don't know how much I have to say about anything. Well, it be. Healing any stats just didn't cost you extra time. Person, just business. Because I can revive sleep doesn't mean you revive. You die, you die. 90. Alright, that was full discovery. So the top bit is strictly just for, like, the bonus. Or the... It's kind of a weird place to put it. Not like there's anything else here. I guess it's back to hell, huh? Yeah, I think we're going to hell. Let's get through hell, and then once I get through hell into the next set of areas, I'll probably go back to the dream world and check that out. Because, uh... If that'll take me to the moon, the moon levels are lower than the animal realm uh, and the Sanzu enemies, so... Hmm. Oi, oi, oi. It's spicy in here. Oh god, why is the floor made of piss? Oh, never mind. Streamer, you need to go. Oh, you need to go. Streamer, you need to go. <laughs> you sh shouldn't be here. Shouldn't be here, streamer. You should probably leave now. Ow. Why did she just passively heal? Where's the earth shattering kaboom? Hey, whoa, hold on, I just got juiced. Hold on, let me get that level 44 real quick in here, and then I'm going to the moon. I could snag those guys, but it's not a good idea to. I don't know why the floor is piss. Welcome to hell, enjoy your stay. Oh, you already heard that line? Well, it was former hell, this is the real thing. I don't even know where to begin with this one. Are they gonna kill me? Yes, die! Die! Doesn't matter. You can cover if you want. I wasn't dead anyway. Juicy. Okay. Alright, I'm leaving piss land. I, I don't actually know what the floor tile is doing at all. Maybe it's affecting my battery. Yeah, wake me up. Or send me to the human village first. really expecting to run into level 47 to send in hell. It's not where I expected it to be at all. Okay. Why is hell draining my battery? What? Okay. Anyway, we're here specifically because we're sending Yomu and Takane to create this character. Yeah. Yeah. You should complete. Your Hime is now yours. Why do you two create Sanai? You know what? I don't care. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. I need to sacrifice. Alright. Wagasaki. Yummy. 
Make some room. Ruma? Okay. There we go. Ruma's been made. Okay, now we're gonna go to the moon. Or I guess we're going to the dream place first. Make a save. This team is flawless. Once I get some strong skills, I'll start importing them. Teleport Green Wolf. So I gotta come here, huh? Oh, it's a different place. Interesting. Okay. When you, if you know Toho, it makes sense, right? Because the Kayan passageway leads to the Lunar Capital in 15. But at the same time, it's like... This place is weird. Oh, you're here. Okay, you're not in hell. Okay, of course, of course, Clown Peace, the fairy of hell, and Hikati, the goddess of hell, is not in hell. <laughs> nah, nah, it makes perfect sense to me. What? I just remembered Junko's gimmick. I remembered her gimmick. That's fine. She's weak to every element. That was her gimmick. Well. Akatia takes too much MP to do that. Okay, that works. Alice is kind of catching up. She's a little behind, but I just keep sending more to her. The less Junkos I have to fight, the better. Okay. One map. I'm kind of excited now, chat. The stream anniversary. Oh, here's Rainmo. Oh, and Doramie's here. Okay. Come here. I couldn't actually... I don't have material for you, surprisingly. on Saturday, too, so I don't even have to do anything on Sunday. That could be a meat day. Alright, I'll take you. I remember Reimu healed off of Pierce damage because I don't know why. Rain stance doesn't matter. So I can't shoot Reimu and I can't shoot Junko. Who the fuck can I shoot, then? It's kind of kind of large. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's large and weird. Hold on. What's Dormy do? Calm mist. Weak mind. All enemies. Moderate healing. Mind attacks also absorb targets MP. That's a cool amp. Weak mind attacks when enemy damage is fairly increased. The target is asleep. Dormy sweet. Bakuyo kind of ruler of dreams had a few run-ins in America in the past. She's weak to force, neutral everything else, and resistant to mind. Well, let's shatter her then. Alright. Uh, maybe a little overkill. That's fine, because we heal a little bit of MP. And now we just attack. Oh, that, uh, chat, I gotta grab a bottle of the good stuff. Although, I don't want to drink myself into a coma. And also, uh, if you if you drink too much on Twitch, you get a... You get, you get a... You get a... You get a... Oh, hello, you two. You get a no-no on your report card that says don't do that. So, you should probably not do that. She tried. She tried. She tried to equalize the HP. She blocked me. It's okay. I didn't pay attention to that. I thought she blocked something else. Okay. Mm. More traveling. Now, the thing is, chat, I can already think of a few games that I'll be able to talk about. So, for any of you that were here, like, 
real early on, then you probably know that I am not a huge fan of Eternal Darkness. Oh, we're asleep. Alright, well, guess we're asleep. In fact, I hate that game. A lot. And I played it for like the first Halloween that I streamed. And I don't know why I finished it, to be honest with you. Back then, I was really adamant about finishing things, no matter what. So I tried to finish things all the time. But it was very, very apparent early on how much I didn't actually like that game because I thought it controlled like ass butter. It was really not fun to play. But, like, I only played it... I only played it because I thought I was told it was good. And, like, it was a, it was an amazing video game. <clears throat> and then I played it, and I was like, whoever said this is a good game has not played it in ten years. Bet. That's how I felt. Now, maybe you could say it's just not for you, streamer. And you'd be partially right. It definitely wasn't for me. But I don't understand how anyone could really enjoy the movement in that game in any capacity. I recall being stuck on a boss for like, uh, I don't know, like 40 minutes or something because I didn't understand how you were supposed to hit it because your character walks around like he's got a stick up his ass and he can't actually do anything useful. Meanwhile, you're fighting some fucking alien monster creature thing and it's like, I have, it's like across the fucking room. I vaguely remember the, what that boss is. And it's not, it wasn't fun. Don't remember its name at all. I remember I picked the green gem because the green gem induced effects that were supposed to be cool. So that's why I chose them. And then the game was like, hey, maybe you should check out the other gems. The red and the blue one. And I thought that I really didn't want to do that. So, I did it. And then I beat Eternal Darkness. You know what? You know what? I think the reason why I beat it is actually pretty simple. It's because I thought I thought back then that if I complained about a game and didn't finish it, that that would make my opinion of the game not as, uh, not as. You know? That's what I thought. But, like, I am valid in my criticisms because I finished the fucking game. But, that also sucks. Because when you think about it like that, oops. When you think about it like that, it's, it's like, oh man, you know, uh, fucking plane in traffic is really not not fun, not an enjoyable time. Almost got hit by a bus. And someone be like, what do you know? I did get hit by a bus. My opinion matters more. And it's like, okay. Maybe that's not the best example. You know what I mean, right? Like somehow your criticism is less valid because you didn't you didn't finish the game. But I did finish the game. So my criticism became more valid as a result. That's how that works. What else can you do? Make no mistake, I didn't think for a second that the game just magically was gonna get better. I just knew that I said I was gonna beat it, and so, oh lord, did I try and beat it. Uh oh. Oh, cool. So now, th it activates an anomaly, so now I can teleport back there. But I want to finish exploring the dream world, so... I'll make a save, and then keep doing that. Okay. It's the idea that you don't 
your your opinion on something isn't as uh, doesn't matter as much if you didn't actually like play it. And to an extent, that ma that is that does make sense. Think of video game reviewers, chat. Think of how many video game journalists we said gloves. Think about how many uh, video game journalists review a game, but it's very apparent they didn't actually play the game. Oh man. Actually, this is fine, because this works. So, I, I'm, I'm less inclined to, uh, to accept the opinion of a video game journalist, because there's a very real chance that they didn't play the game at all. And even if they did somehow play the game, they probably did not play in a capacity that was actually engaging in any way, shape, or form. But this is also just like, uh, you know, this is just video game journalism in general. Yet it's still around. But I'm more willing to trust the opinion of somebody who played the game than, than someone who didn't play the game. But also, if somebody stopped playing the game because they thought it was, you know, poopy, I'd have to figure out when they decided game bad. That's important. Like, let's think. Give me an give me an example. Give me an example here. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I'm trying to think of a game that starts off really promising and then goes to shit. But I can't think of anything. Persona 3 Reload, one of the reviews had not Persona 5 in the bad point. Some people would argue that's a good point. Persona 5? Okay, I'll be real. Persona 5, as the further the story went on, the more confused and less attentive I, I, I was to it. I, I don't really remember too much about what happened in that game at all. I just kind of, like, after, like, the third palace and I got Makoto, I was kind of just like, ugh. Like that was that was the end of my brainstem. Crazy default. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Bravely default was a game that I could not blame somebody for not actually finishing. However, I thought the game was so good I beat it like six times. Ha ha ha, streamer, ha ha ha. I don't know why I decided to play through that after that it did that to me. But that was definitely, like if somebody just decided that they didn't want to play that game anymore after the first time that happened to them, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, no, I understand. I completely understand why you would just give up on that because that is, that is stupid. Breath of the Wild? Well, my issue with Breath of the Wild is I just get bored of open world games. I wouldn't say Breath of the Wild necessarily gets bad. I just think that the game doesn't really change the formula too much from what you get when you initially start. Like, what happens on the Great Plateau is what you should expect out of the game for the rest of your gameplay experience. And if you like what happened on the Great Plateau, you're gonna have a great fucking time. Otherwise, the game has- it's gonna plateau for you. Haha, <laughs> good one. Thanks, I try. Clown. Alright. For me, I played it, I, I had some fun, I got the Zora, and then it sent me on a quest to find shit, and I got bored. Ah, uh, damn, streamer, you're on a roll. And then I, I stopped playing. But for some people, they could like play eight hours of uh, Tears of the Kingdom, and then be like, damn, that was good. And they go to bed, and they wake up the next day, and they're like, alright, back on that Tears of the Kingdom grind. And it's like, I just couldn't do that. Some people just get, you know, they get really immersed in the world, and they just like exploring everything. But for me, I get bored. Not enough going on, I guess. I don't know how to best describe it. But open world games, they feel too open to me and they're they're kind of boring. But I wouldn't say Breath of the Wild is a bad game just because I don't like the, the open world, uh, I don't like the open world aspect to it. 
Like, if I, if I were to talk about Breath of the Wild, I would never say it's a bad game just because I didn't like it. I would say it's a game that didn't quite get me because I don't like the genre very much. But I'm not really of the opinion of calling things bad because they don't appeal to me. Because it's really annoying. People think the world revolves around them like that. That's why the words overrated and underrated are not very favorite words of mine anymore. I mean, it's not like they were my favorite to begin with, but you know what I mean. Those words are grossly overused, and they're usually used by people who want to talk about something popular they don't like, or something not so popular that they do like. Some people can't really accept that something they like isn't popular, or something that they don't like is popular, so they find any reason imaginable. They, they try to find an actual explanation as to why, instead of just being like, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything for me. It's just a- it's- it's a you issue. That's all. And that's okay. Because not every game is made for everyone. If a game tries to appeal to everyone, it appeals to no one. Because some people get their jollies off to some very strange things in video games. And other people don't reciprocate that sort of feeling from video games. Hmm. Think of Sonic 06. I think it's pretty fair to say that objectively speaking, Sonic 06 is not a very good video game. It is horrendously rushed, messy, buggy, all every possibly word you can think of that would be used to describe a bad time. But there are people who like that game. And that's fine. But there's no one's gonna believe you if you say that the game's actually really good and it's just a misunderstood classic. No. No, <laughs> it's not. But it's fine because, you know, it's, if you like it, you like it. One of the most common games I see get like, really harshly criticized is Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 and Donkey Kong 64, I think, are the two most common, like, this popular game, it's not good, that, uh, uh, like, no other game quite gets it as much as those two. And I don't really know why that is. It's probably worse for SA2. SA2 gets it a lot. I like Sonic Adventure 2. I think it's a fun game. I really do. Now, obviously, the Chow Garden stuff is the part that kept me the most into it, but it's not like I hated the gameplay aspects of it. I rather enjoyed it. It was fun. Simply perfect. But yeah, it's one of the it's one of probably one of the most like this game bad games in existence. And there's a I can't think of any other examples. I know that Donkey Kong 64 is also a popular one to poke at because it's quote unquote the death of a genre. And admittedly, I do like that game, but there are a lot of mini games that exist in that game. Bonus games, and there's a lot of random things that are collectibles. Like there's so many fucking collectibles in that game, it's kind of insane. It's popular clickbait because, you know, it killed the genre. It, it single-handedly killed an entire genre. I'm almost out of here. I'm glad I can kill this Junko in two hits. There's also the ever-classic rose-tinted glasses. That's a, that's a common one as well. There are games that we play at a young age that really stick with us, and we like them a lot, even if they're not that great. Or you just have some kind of emotional attachment to a game because you just played it at a time in your life where it had a lot of impact on you. 
For me, uh, I'd say the two most prominent examples for me of games that really aren't very good, but I like them a lot, is Silent Hill Homecoming and Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. If you told me those games were ass, I would not fight you on it. <laughs> I wouldn't fight- I wouldn't even begin to fight you on that one. But I love those games. I can watch somebody play those games for hours. Especially False Bound Kingdom. I don't even know why. some kind of weird space station. We're on the moon, bitch. Walking the snaky pathway. Sagumi. Oh, it's this spell card. Okay. You know what game I had on uh, on PlayStation 1? I had Celebrity Deathmatch. That game was certainly interesting. I think the funniest thing is when I see a game that I like played when I was a kid show up on Vinny Sunday stream. And I'm just like, oh, I know this game. Rugrats Scavenger Hunt? Oh man, dude. That that popped up on a Sunday stream and I was like, no fucking way. That's my that's my game, man. That was my game. I love that game. Do I remember like anything about it? Barely. Oh, that's not a fun lineup. This is gonna MP drain me, but it's fine. The cars game, which you unlock. I don't know what you're talking about. Billy Hatcher. Okay, chat. Was Billy Hatcher bad? Because I like Billy Hatcher. I don't know if that counts as a bad game, though. Because I thought that game was solid. It was weird. Like, don't get me wrong, but I don't think, I don't think it was a bad game at all. But nobody really talks about Billy Hatcher and the giant egg. Your move, egg boy. Oh, there's Ringo. I need you. Yeah, this is not unexpected. I think I have room for you, because I got rid of Wagasaki and Romeo, so I know I at least have room for one more. Okay. Mm. From one guy I know who reviewed it, eh. See, I never 100%ed it, but like it was, it was a cool game. I thought it was pretty cool. Hmm. It's pretty jank. I don't remember it being that jank, but I haven't actually played it in a long time. Cook a doo doo. All right, Billy. Whatever you say. Healing point. Who are you, an intruder? Whatever. They don't pay me enough to care. I'll heal you up if you need it. This here is the Sea of Tranquility, the furthest point from the Lunar Capital. There's no direct path to the Lunar Capital from here. You'll have to go through the Sea of Serenity. What'll it be? Okay. Thanks, Rabbit. You sell anything cool? Oh. Thanks, Rabbit. This place is just a bunch of corridors. I don't like this layout. But I'm not afraid of you, so... It's fine. Discovered a Shrek 2 GBA game I played. Dude, I had one on GameCube that I rented, and I couldn't beat it because I was stuck in Chapter 3 because it was just a bunch of mini-games, and I couldn't figure out how to get through them. I don't know if I was supposed to beat them or what, but I just the game just wouldn't let me he wouldn't let me go to the next level. I was just stuck in minigame hell in Camelot. Like, let me go! I don't wanna play minigames anymore. I'm sick of minigames. Hmm. I'm 
I'm gonna earth shatter. And do this, and do this. I did my job. Now everybody dies to this. Why'd you just heal 50? Right, because you have revenge. I forgot, you have revenge, so you just heal whenever somebody dies. Well, that's good. I had, the first Crash game I played was the GameCube one, The Wrath of Cortex. I wasn't very good at it. I ended up playing the first one on PS1 later, and I beat it, I think. Pretty sure I beat it. I think I beat it. I don't know why I didn't beat it. But maybe. Whoa! Had a green eggs and ham GBA video game. Like a party game. Wow. I almost don't believe you, but there's no reason to lie about something like that. <laughs> green eggs and ham, the video game. was a board game. Dude, okay, hold on, chat. There was a... There was a... You have a PS1 memory card? Don't worry, I didn't have a GameCube memory card for fucking years. <laughs> or maybe not years, but I didn't have one for a while. Uh, there was a Shrek Party game. I think it was on GameCube. And I don't remember what it was called. I'm pretty sure we rented it once. Who goes there? See a tranquility lunar capital. We have an unidentified object in the underwater base. No, it doesn't appear to be impure. What's more, I saw some clones appear just now along with it. Got it. Quarantine the area and run away. It was a Shrek party game, and the only thing I remember about it was that I landed on a space, and then I ended up in a stinky world, and it was I, I was a giant boot. I was like, what? I was very confused by that outcome. I couldn't figure- I don't- like, that's all I remember. I just, I ended up in Stinkland, and I was a giant boot came down from the sea of the sky. <clears throat> Memory cards should have came with the game, like, the system. That's my opinion. Alright, well, I gotta beat this one, because it's up bad, so it's gonna heal. Ringo doesn't have it. People are calling it the Citizen Kane of video games. Are you talking about- no, what are you talking about? Chat, did I ever tell you about the time my mom borrowed an Xbox from a coworker, And it was just filled to the brim with homebrew shit? Like, it, the, the, this dude turned his Xbox into a massive emulator. You could play fucking any game that ever released on the NES, SNES, like PS, PS1, any of them. Well, maybe not PS1, but I don't really know who this guy was or where he came from, but or why he let my mom borrow his Xbox. But he also had all like the accessories too, like he had Yoshi Safari on there, and he actually had like a super scope. Like he just let my mom borrow fucking all of it. And then I found a page that was full of Super Mario Brothers hacks. Just full of them. There were so many. I played Super Bomber Man, Super Birdo, all of them. They were all just they were all just Super Mario or just they were all just Mario Brothers. Like that was it. That was the whole thing. They were just fucking Mario Brothers. It made no sense. I, you know why I remember this? Because I was talking to a coworker about it, and I remember one of those games I played, right? One of those games I played, and you know the bonus area in 1-1 where you go down the pipe and there's all those coins and then you come out to the other side and you're like done the level? I went down the bonus pipe and in the background of the game it just said Dave, suck me, with many exclamation marks after Dave and me. And I don't remember what one of those I was playing at the time, but I do specifically remember Dave suck me. So. Yeah. Don't ask, because I couldn't tell you.
We couldn't save. Some of those games could save, but some of them couldn't. That was actually the first time I, I played uh, Super Mario RPG was on that Xbox, but it did not save, so we couldn't. The farthest Christian ever got was like he beat Croco, and then he couldn't play any further than that. But that was the first time we saw that game, and we didn't even really believe it was a real ass game, because it was like, what the fuck is, like, what is this game? Mario RPG, it felt, it felt like it didn't feel real. I don't know what suck me means exactly. I don't know. I couldn't tell ya. Aww. See, it's better to attack you because I'm killing Junko this turn. Okay. Virtual console built so much gaming to me. You know, the Wii Virtual Console is how I learned about Phoenix Wright properly. Because they were releasing the games as uh, as part of the WiiWare bit. And the first one had come out, the second one was coming out, and the third one was on its way, and we were just eagerly awaiting its arrival. I remember the screenshot in the Wii Shop channel had Larry in a security guard outfit for the third game. I was so excited to play it. I really got into Phoenix right from the from the WiiWare. Hmm. The Game Boy Advance SP wasn't the original Game Boy Advance. Really? I never had an SP. I only had a... Okay, hold on. I'm actually out of time, so... I'm gonna hold progress here. I'm gonna go heal and then save. Okay. The SP was the first uh, console to have a backlight, which uh, is something that you definitely wanted. That was definitely something you wanted on your uh, your portable system. I never really had much of Majora's Mask. My first experience with Majora's Mask was when I borrowed the collector's edition from a friend because it had like all those games on it. And uh, well, I got the new wave bossa nova went to play the song of time to save and then the game aired and i lost all my progress so i did not play i did not play it again i i beat the game much later in life with the wii virtual console but yeah my my first time properly playing majora's mask prematurely ended because because the game was game was a bit of a piece of shit fucking error occurred. Not the game disc can't be read. An error occurred. You can save it if the disc can't be read, but you can't save it if it says error occurred. I learned this. Nice. Alright, a lot of ground made. I didn't pop that book with Kozusu, but I'll check that out next time. 17 hours and 49 minutes. Damn, been at this game for a while. Hmm. My first game was Superman 64. I don't know if I'd like video games, but it doesn't, you know, it's fine. I had stuff from my, my mom's era, so that's kind of where I started with it all. Not that I could really understand what was going on. Wrath of Carnage is a broken bullshit game. Yoshi was cool. Donkey Kong Country 3 was crazy. I didn't really fully understand the scope of how difficult that game was because the file was already beaten from me. I just went to the ends of the maps and talked to like the boss tiles and saw the bosses. Like, Whoa! But the bosses are nearly as high as the stages. Oh! oh. Alright, chat. See you to the stream. The streamer's dead. <clears throat> so, yeah. Great progress, actually. Fantastic progress.
And I have my, my golden winning team. So I'll play more probably later in the week. And we'll just continue through the moon.